Oh shit. Alright. <laughs> so today's video is about basic conditioning. And we gonna make it quick. Add this to the, the videos of Tech and Quickie since y'all got attention spans of two year olds. It's 2020. I know it is what it is. Alright, but anyway, uh the video or what I wanna basically put in here is uh, I was playing somebody over the weekend and they was like, Wow, Mac. It was in casuals. It's like, how are you blocking all everything? How are you blocking all my mix-ups? And in my mind, I'm thinking, I'm not really blocking it. I'm just anticipating it. And I'm going to tell you why right here. A lot of people going to fall into this range, but hopefully we all grow out of this. I think it's the, the low to mid-level tier of player, which is probably where I'm at. I think I'm slightly above middle. But at any given day, I will body JDC, R, and E at the same time. I'm the GOAT. I'm actually the GOAT. Anyway. Uh, what I want to say is at the low to like mid tier players, they do this thing where they'll go for a move or mix up. They think they're conditioning you, quote unquote, by doing the move two times, maybe three. I call it the rules of twos, rule of twos or the rule of threes. What they'll do is they'll go for a mix up. So let's just say you sit down in tournament, you ready for your pulls. You're going against pink, pink and blue Bob 47. Shout out to the limit. <clears throat> You're going against Pink and Blue Bob 47. And this man is just going wild. He's hell sweep hop kick. Hell sweep hop kick. You block both of them. He and you block both of them. You punished him hard. Claudio's forward 2 2. He lost all of this damage. In the low to mid tier's mindset, he's like, I gotta do something to compensate. So the next time I'm gonna wave dash, I'm gonna do a hell sweep. I'm going to be real with y'all. A lot of y'all players think this way. And this is not me roasting or dissing y'all. Because I think this way sometimes. And I was in this boat where I did the same thing. This is so y'all know. This this is not. You're not conditioning anybody this way. So if you're doing that, you're just killing yourself. The rule of twos, rule of threes apply to most low to mid level players. It's not a mix up at that point. Conditioning. Uh, it's probably easier to explain it on the wall. Even though, granted, you won't always be on the wall. Oh, y'all like that broken pad wave dash? My pad been broke for three months. But anyway, conditioning um, is not just a simple mix-up like that. It's making your opponent believe you're going to react a certain way and or do a certain move anytime pretty much you're in a situation like this. So let's just say I, I got a wall combo. I took Claudio to the wall, or my bad. Pink and Bob fan 40 or blue fan 47 took Claudio to the wall and every time he gets him on the wall he does sidestep one plus two I mean I'm talking about one whole game he did this thing the whole time now it's not about it hitting people fall into this thing with conditioning it's not about it always hitting that's the point of conditioning you got to make your opponent think that that move is coming to open up the gate gateway for other moves so what you want to do is show it enough. Just show it enough. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be two and three times. It could be once, really. That's the. It's just. It, it depends on your opponent's mindset too. And don't duck on the wall. So if somebody is doing this, and the, this is the alternate option. Why are you ducking? I get it. I get it. That's twenty eight damage. You eat that. You losing half life with Bob. Like, what are you doing? Don't duck on the wall, man. What's wrong with y'all twenty twenty people? All these damn kids, man. Y'all tripping. But anyway, it's about seeing the move enough times just to make your opponent believe that another move is not coming. But on the flip side, in the higher level, quote unquote, after they see a move so many times, they're going to expect the, the alternate option. They're like, wow, he hasn't done this in that long. He's probably going to do something else next time around. So it, it works both ways. It's, this is not going to be uh, a clear cut answer how to deal with every mix up because ultimately it's sometimes it's just a guess but you got to try to get in your opponent's mind in that regard and you know you're doing a lot of sidestep one plus twos don't do sidestep down back three plus four because you might get delay hop kick 
JDCR does a combo for 80% life that ends in Rage Drive with Dragon Off, and you might get eliminated from Evo. That didn't happen to me. But let's just say if it was a pink and blob, pink and blob, pink and blue Bob fan 47, it would have happened to him. Fuck you, JDCR. All right, I'm done. Uh, that's the, basically the concept of this video. Don't fall into the simple rules and ones and twos and threes and 